Shanley Pump and Equipment. Allweiler NTT Series Centrifugal Pumps. The Allweiler NTT Series Centrifugal Pump for heat transfer applications is an ideal solution for the handling of organic heat transfer oils. A unique self-cooling design eliminates the need for any additional cooling. The NTT utilizes maintenance-free, heavy-duty ball bearings and is engineered to be one of the quietest and longest-lasting pumps in operation today. This is an instructional disassembly and assembly video for the Allweiler NTT Series Thermal Oil Centrifugal Pump. Please follow all safety instructions in the Allweiler NTT Instruction Manual. If the pump is installed, turn off the power and disconnect the power source. Close the suction and discharge valves to isolate the pump from the liquid media. Drain all liquid from the pump. Disconnect and remove the piping from the suction and discharge end of the pump. Remove the pump from the base plate and remove the shaft coupling. The NTT series pump is now ready for disassembly. Be sure the pump is cooled down to an ambient temperature to avoid any possible injury from exposure to hot oil before working on it. Tools required for the NTT series pump, a 17 millimeter wrench, a 19 millimeter wrench, a 30 millimeter wrench, a six millimeter hex key, snap ring pliers, a pair of side cutters, a hammer and dowel, anti-seize lubricant, an optional supporting base to set the pump on if necessary, a vise mounted to a table or stand, and an arbor press or hydraulic press. Pump Disassembly Place the pump on a workbench horizontally in order to drain any remaining oil. Remove the vent and fill plugs using a 6mm hex key and drain the oil from the bearing housing. Remove the key from the keyway using a pair of side cutters. Take care not to damage the key. Reposition the pump vertically on the workbench with the drive shaft facing up. Remove the pump foot using a 19 mm wrench. Use a 17 mm wrench to remove the eight pump casing cover bolts. The complete pump cartridge unit will now easily pull out of the pump casing. With the pump casing removed, you can inspect the graphite laminated gasket for wear and replace if necessary. Impeller and packing removal. Remove the impeller nut and lock washer by unscrewing it off the pump shaft with a 30 millimeter wrench. You should now be able to slide the impeller off the shaft. Remove the impeller key from the shaft using a pair of side cutters. Place the bearing housing on a cylindrical stand with the impeller side down. Remove the four casing cover bolts using a 17 millimeter wrench. Lift the bearing housing and shaft up and off the casing cover. Inspect the gasket and replace if required. Flip the casing cover over on the stand. 
Use a pair of snap ring pliers to remove the snap ring from the center of the stuffing box. Remove the spacer, followed by the packing. The casing cover is now fully disassembled. Bearings and seal removal. You may wish to add the nut back onto the shaft to protect the threads. Place the shaft and bearing housing vertically in a vise, thread side down. Remove the outer snap ring from the pump drive shaft at the bearing. Flip the housing to remove the nylos ring and spring disc. Next, remove the inner snap ring, followed by the inner spacer. Using a hydraulic press, press the shaft out of the bearing frame towards the impeller end. Carefully remove the mechanical seal stationary face and o-ring from the bearing housing. Twist the rotating assembly to help remove it from the exposed pump shaft. Remove the nut from the shaft. Using a pair of snap ring pliers, remove the snap ring that holds the bearing in place on the shaft. Remove the bearing from the shaft using a press. With a dowel rod and hammer, carefully tap the bearing out of the bearing housing. Remove the bearing spacer that was behind the bearing in the housing. Gently use a rod and hammer to remove the grease cover. Your Allweiler NTT series pump is now fully disassembled. Allweiler NTT thermal oil centrifugal pump assembly. Insert the grease cover into the top of the bearing housing. Use a large dowel to assist if necessary. Flip the bearing housing over. Lubricate and install the stationary face of the mechanical seal and O-ring. Press the bearing onto the pump shaft on the impeller side. Install the bearing snap ring. Lubricate the shaft to aid the installation of the rotating face of the mechanical seal. You may want to add the nut to protect the threads of the shaft. Install the rotating face of the mechanical seal onto the pump drive shaft. Insert the shaft assembly into the bottom of the pump bearing frame. Be careful not to damage the mechanical seal. Add the spacer around the shaft and onto the grease cover. Add the second bearing onto the shaft and into the top of the housing. Use an adapter and hammer if necessary to keep pressure on the inner race of the bearing as you guide it a little further onto the shaft. Allow the shaft and bearings to sink into the housing and add the outer snap ring. This will keep the top bearing in place for the next step. Put 
the bearing housing into a press and press the drive shaft into the bottom of the housing until it seats. Remove the housing from the press and add the spacer followed by the inner snap ring. Remove the outer snap ring. Install the spring disc followed by the Nylos ring. Add the outer snap ring. Remove the nut to prepare the shaft for impeller installation. Install two packing rings into the stuffing box of the casing cover, making sure the cuts in the packing are opposite each other. Next, install the spacer followed by the snap ring. Place the pump cover on a stand to prepare it for installation. Install the gasket. Mount the bearing frame into the casing cover. Install and tighten the four casing cover bolts with a 17 mm wrench. Place the NTT cartridge unit on its side. Install the impeller key into the shaft using a rubber mallet. We recommend that you apply an anti-seize lubricant to the drive shaft before installing the impeller. Other areas we recommend to use anti-seize lubricant are the mating surfaces of the casing and casing cover as well as both sides of the case gasket. Install the impeller, in the correct orientation, onto the shaft. Install the impeller lock washer and nut and tighten with a 30 mm wrench. Put the graphite laminated case gasket into the casing. Install the cartridge unit into the pump casing and tighten the eight casing bolts with a 17 mm wrench. Install the drain plug and washer into the bearing housing using a 6mm hex key. Attach the pump foot using a 19mm wrench. Install the fill plug and washer using a 6mm hex key. Install the shaft key using a rubber mallet.
Your Allweiler NTT Thermal Oil Centrifugal Pump is now fully assembled. Be sure to slowly fill and vent the bearing housing with new oil before startup. Check to make sure the pump shaft turns freely. Please follow all leak testing procedures before reinstallation of the Allweiler NTT Series pump to ensure that the pump will not leak. If no leaks are present, the pump can now be reinstalled into the pump system. If you have any questions about or require spare parts for the repair of your Allweiler NTT Thermal Oil Centrifugal Pump, please feel free to contact us for an immediate response at www.shanleypump.com or call 847-439-9200. We always have complete pumps and all spare parts in our inventory ready to ship the same day.